Is EV range anxiety totally overblown? After driving our Tesla through all four Canadian seasons, I can say this. It doesn't hit often, but when it does, it hits in ways you don't expect. We recently took a 1500 kilometer road trip through the mountains in our standard range Tesla Model 3. On paper, it says it gets 438 kilometers of range, but that's under ideal conditions. No hills, mild temps, light load, and grandma behind the wheel. Tesla's trip planner said we'd reach one stop with 20% battery left, but throw in steep hills, a heat wave, full AC, four people, and a trunk full of luggage, and we rolled in with 10%. That got a little tense. And it's not just heat. Cold weather zaps your range too. You lose a ton when blasting heat in the winter. That's the thing. In a gas car, I never thought about this stuff, especially speed. In an EV, the faster you drive, the more resistance you create, like dragging a parachute. Tesla even says doubling your speed can quadruple energy use. Four times. Wild. I usually fly through the mountain passes, but in the EV, I found myself driving like I was trying to impress my insurance company. That said, charging wasn't bad at all. We stopped twice on a 460 kilometer stretch where I only expected to stop once. Superchargers were in good spots, food, bathrooms, shopping, and in BC, a 75% charge cost around between 12 to $15. But by the time we grabbed snacks, the car was ready. But here's the thing. We didn't buy this car for road trips, we bought it for commuting, and for that, it's amazing. We charge it overnight in our garage with a regular wall plug, and every morning it's like waking up with a full tank. We've never once had range anxiety during daily driving, even in minus 20 degree weather. Honestly, most people who worry about range anxiety don't seem to own an EV or have one yet. Modern EVs plan your route with charging stops built in, it's really not much of an issue. Part of the reason I stopped twice was because I wanted to arrive with 60% battery. I could have pushed it, but those brakes were actually nice. My family didn't mind at all. Owning an EV has been amazing. It's easily the best car I've ever had, and I've owned at least over 20. But that said, if you take long road trips often, can't charge at home, or don't have easy access to stations, a plug-in or just straight up hybrid might still be a better fit. But for most people, especially commuters with a garage, EVs are more convenient, cheaper to run, and way more fun. And the tech is only getting better. Solid state batteries, faster charging, it's all coming. So is EV range anxiety totally overblown? Honestly, yeah. If you know what you're buying, it is. Daily driving, no problem. Got a garage, you're golden. But if you wanna drive 700 kilometers at 130 kilometers an hour with the AC cranked and never think about it, that's gas car territory, at least for now. For our family, we still have one gas car, which we would normally take on trips like this. It's bigger and more predictable for long hauls, but when it comes to hill climbing power, the Tesla ripped. Seriously impressive. And that's just the base model. If you're still deciding which type of vehicle is right for you, I compared hybrids, plug-in hybrids, and EVs in this video right here. We chose an EV because we already had a gas car and we have a garage, but that breakdown is still super helpful if you're on the fence. And if you wanna know why we specifically chose the Tesla Model 3, I'll link that video here and maybe toss another one here just for fun. As always, thanks for watching. Do you drive an EV? Ever deal with range anxiety? I'd love to hear what you have to think about it in the comments below.